Whitworth Art Gallery is part of Manchester University. It sits in a park on the south edge of the university. Our brief was to extend the Whitworth and at the same time to better connect with the park. So we punched holes through the Victorian fabric, we opened up roof lights, we brought new windows into the original building and created a new transparency to the gallery, a better connection with the park around. In our project, we've used the characteristics of brick to bring texture, to cast shadow, to create uh, interest within these otherwise blank elevations. And in thinking about how to make patterns that were relevant to this project, we looked at the textile collection within the Whitworth. And we found fabrics with de deliberate inclusions, the slash work with silver stitching, cuffs, borders, edges, and if you look around the building you'll find at the top of all the walls there's a soldier course, stretcher bond, which is in effect a cuff, a fringe around the edge of the building. We have pleating, pleating casting shadows below the cafe, so we have the very smooth glass elevation with the reflections of the trees and then the pleating there to contrast with that. The Victorian building shows throughout its fabric craftsmanship and we are interested in contemporary craftsmanship. With Northcott, the brick manufacturer, we developed a bespoke blend for the Whitworth. We didn't try to match the bricks, we tried to create a further uh, blend in the palette of the Whitworth materials. We needed to find a way to make bricks that would allow us to create the textures we wanted to create within our elevations. So we use a number of specials, and those specials are handmade. It's amazing to see people nowadays still whacking bricks out, making them by hand. We wanted to find bricks that had a sort of pinkish purplish tone as well as the, the typical orange that we see in many bricks. We also were interested in creating a slight sheen to the brick so that when you look up at the building you start to see the sky being reflected. A brick that works well in different types of weather. It's raining quite often in Manchester and the brick has to continue to look good. So Northcott helped us develop a brick blend. They fired at a different temperature they created deliberate variations within the brick and some of this purplish hue that you'll see around the Whitworth. The scheme was multifaceted insofar as there's works internally which involve renovation works. And then as we move outside, there were in the region of 8,000 specials on the scheme. We had to get involved with the architect to a great degree to understand his detailing to the point where he developed his own drawings to and showed every individual brick on the job. So the bin store wall within the orchard garden has all the contract mock-ups and samples. It's probably the most expensive looking bin store you'll ever find, but those were actually for free. They're part of the process of making a building. The bricks work together to become one bigger thing, a bigger brick. You can then carve that, so if you look at the elevation to the study centre where we create deep cast reveals to cast shadow to protect the collection within. The brick allows us to do that. We can articulate that, stepping the brick back, or you get the bull-nosed bricks, those specials um, on the lower promenade where we've uh, set seating into the elevation of the building. There's something about creating a, a massive architecture that we've enjoyed in this project. There's the solid galleries, but then there's this new transparency that we've introduced and that's about making the building open and welcoming. It's about encouraging people to come in, allowing people within to look out. So it's really balancing solid and void brick with glass, brick and ferns with glass, and then brick textures with the smoothness of glass. And that, that's maybe what we've enjoyed most about the work on this project. Schemes like this are always very difficult and it's all a case of getting the three interested parties, primarily the architect ourselves and the brick manufacturer, to work together to turn out a result and I, th I think the, the building bears testament to that.